Yo, what's up, everyone? Today, let's learn how to activate an image when we click on a part. So right now, we have two parts in our workspace. The smaller part is going to be the part that we want to click. So of course, let's go ahead and add a click detector. Rename this part to click part. Cool. Okay, so onto the next big part. This is where the image label is going to be at. So in order to work with this, we have to add a surface GUI. And then inside of the surface UI, let's go ahead and add an image label. Set the image ID to whatever you guys want to use. I'm going to resize my image label so that it's 1, 0, 1, 0. So that takes up the entire part. And when we insert an image inside of our image label, there's always going to be a white background. I don't like that. I want it to be transparent. So look at where it says background transparency for our photo, for our image label. Go ahead and set the transparency of that to one. So that is just good old Shrek himself. Group everything together in a model for both of our parts. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rename the uh, image part to image part. Cool. Let's go ahead and add a script inside of our model. Okay, so we have a few variables. One which references the model itself, our click detector inside of our click part, and the image label inside of our image part. So, and a debounce. We have a mouse click function, where if a player clicks on our click part, then our debounce, if our debounce is false, then db is equal to true, our image will be visible. Else, if we um, click it again, then the debounce will be equal to false and our image will no longer be visible. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and test out our script. And ta-da, it works. <laughs> so cool. Both scripts and models will be posted on our website, link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. As always, have fun creating and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.